Planning Commission meeting. Roll. Commissioner Campbell. Here. Commissioner Blauer. Here. Commissioner Jewell. Here. Commissioner Allen. Here. Commissioner McCree. Present. Commissioner Jordan. Here. Commissioner Jackson and Commissioner Rouse asked to be excused tonight. Uh, Chairman Wesley. Here. We have a quorum. Is there any additions or corrections to the agenda? Hearing none, the chair will entertain a motion for the approval of the agenda. So moved. Support. It's moved and properly supported. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposes have the same right. The minutes of the previous meeting, we do these individually of September the 24th, 2013. Mr. Chair, I did have a couple of corrections um, in terms of name spellings for September 24th on both pages one and three. Um, in reference to Jack Minor, I believe there's an E on the end of his last name. Um, and also had a correction regarding October 19th. Um, firstly, I believe the last name of the facilitator is Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E. And if my memory serves, I believe that um, she began to facilitate after the public forum, but that the chair conducted the meeting up until that point. Let's go back to September. Any other? Make a. I was going to make a motion to accept the minutes of September the 24th as noted for correction. It's been moved and properly supported that the minutes of September the 24th be approved with the noted corrections. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed have the same rights. Appears unanimous. Now we have October the 8th. We have October the 8th. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of October the 8th, pending any corrections. Support. It's been moved and supported that the minutes of October the 8th be approved. All in favor, say no, saying aye. 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 Opposed have the same right. Appears unanimous. October 15th. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of October the 15th for the special meeting. Support. It's been moved and properly supported that the minutes of October the 15th be approved. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed have the same right. Unanimous. And October the 19th. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of October the 19th with the corrections uh, regarding the public forum was opened by the chair and that the chair did close the public forum and then under old business the chair then uh, turned over the discussion to Ms. Baker, Ms. Baker. Lori. 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 Shows you how my day's going. Support. All right, it's been moved and properly supported that the special meeting minutes of October 19th be approved with the corrections. All in favor, signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed have the same rights. All right, thank you very much. Um, next item on the agenda is a public forum. The public is invited to take part on anything appearing on our agenda this evening. If you wish to address the commission, I would like to draw your attention to the back of the agenda, which gives the rules for addressing this commission. Is there anyone in the public wishing to address the commission?
Sign in and state your name, please. Thank you. My name is. Hello. Yep. Thank you. My name is Chris Del Marone, and I live in Flint, Michigan. Uh, I want to reiterate my concerns regarding the master plan. Good work, nice layout, all that stuff. A lot of time was spent. Um, I believe it picks winners and losers, and I think that's uh, spoken well here in this memorandum that's just been uh, handed out to us, where the consultants are recommending that we have too many commercial areas and that some areas should no longer be commercial and, the, and, and investment, and that should be concentrated in certain areas. So those who are not in those areas, I believe, in my opinion, they will lose value on their property. Um, I was at Saturday's meeting that was held at the old Hyatt Regency here in Flint, and uh, there seems to be great discussion around Civic Park, uh, the historic district and the school. And at Saturday's meeting, it was mentioned that Civic Park School will not be torn down and the manufacturing facility will be built behind that. And I'm not sure how that opinion was uh, uh, come to. Uh, it was expressed by the chief planner, Megan Hunter, in the Flint Journal, sun dated Sunday, um, October 6th. It specifically says he, referring to one of the developers, would raise the building, would raise the building. Understand that raise means erase. It means to scrap, cut, or shave off, to destroy to the ground, demolish, as in raise an old building. This comes out of the dictionary. Now, if the journal is wrong in their reporting, I have not seen a correction. And if it was what's stated Saturday by our chief planner, I would like to know how she came to that conclusion what basis she has to make that statement that Civic Park School will not be raised, okay? I believe, for the most part, there is the master plan, and then there is the plan. And the, the, the plan does not include everything that's in the master plan. The plan, uh, some people want to do things, and I believe they have influenced what goes in to the master plan, and I think Civic Park is one example. There is talk about, in the master plan, about the flat lot on Saginaw Street, and it talks about redeveloping that flat lot. Well, let me remind the Planning Commission and the public that that flat lot is owned by the Downtown Development Authority, and the Downtown Development Authority collects parking revenue. And that parking revenue is to be used to pay for the bonds on the Rutherford parking structure in downtown Flint. And they do not raise enough money. And the city of Flint, our city, that is broke, that's under the auspices, uh, uh, that's under control of a financial manager, has to make up that difference to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars that the city of Flint has paid for that Rutherford parking structure. It is unfortunate. It's money that could be used in our neighborhoods. It's money that could be used for police, for fire, and for a variety of things. But no, we have a flat lot that is now in, in the master plan that talks that it should be redeveloped. We have a flat lot that they put statues in that takes up parking spaces. We have a flat lot that they build a, some art project uh, a house that takes up parking spaces. It all cuts into revenue. And to think that the master plan should now say that that flat lot should be redeveloped, I think is a wrong thing. I think is a wrong thing. The Downtown Development Authority, I believe if they do not have a legal obligation, then they have a moral and a civic obligation to pay those bonds. I think the master plan should include the fact that we do not need more housing in the city of Flint, nor do we need more infill housing. We already have an abundance of homes in Flint, Michigan. And if we have 20,000 people leave between now and the next six years to the new census, six, seven years to the new census, 
imagine how many more homes are going to be coming onto the market. It would be wrong to continue to build homes like we're doing in Smith Village, the only new subdivision to be built in all of Genesee County in 2011. So please consider those things. What is going on in Civic Park, the flat lot, and uh, new housing and infill housing, and the loss of value, especially to those commercial buildings? Thank you. Good evening. My name is Quincy Murphy, and um, I just want to um, thank the Planning Commission, the Mayor, and Megan, and all the hard work everybody did to put the uh, master plan together. Um, about a month ago, I came to you guys and um, submitted a letter and uh, requested for you guys to invest at least $200 million in the North End and in urban neighborhoods within the next 30 years because I saw the decline in um, redevelopment over there in the north side. But um, I try to be solution driven and uh, work with people and not against them because I know it takes all of us to do what they need to do to um, bring the neighborhoods up and change the city of Flint. The city just recently in May um, leased out Dewey Park to us to um, maintain and we've been doing a good job but I know the work does not end there. The work does not end with just the mayor or the city council. It starts with all of us working together. And a lot of times we um, come and point fingers and um, nag and complain about things that's going on in the city of Flint. But um, I try to be solution driven and bring things to the table and not against the table and realize that um, one person can't do it. I don't expect the mayor to come and do things in our neighborhood because he's the mayor, because he's, he's just not physically able to do it, but he can um, make um, suggestions or recommendations for us to be able to um, have different services um, provided or funding move to different areas, but we need to be shovel ready. And I just come here tonight to thank all of y'all, all the hard work you guys did. I um, was not able to make the meeting Saturday, but I heard there was some discussion on the letter that I submitted to you guys. And um, hopefully you guys will be voting tonight to implement um, some of those um, questions that I um, recommended in the letter in y'all um, master plan. Thank you and God bless. Hi, my name is Nair Sharif. Um, as before, I, I do have, I still have some concerns with the master plan, um, especially with some of the photo documentation. Um, and something I, I failed to mention, I was there on Saturday, but um, the beginning of the, like, the public safety section, it was like a whole bunch of black males on the cover. Um, and and while I do love black men <laughs> being represented in the master plan, um, I, I kind of question that particular placement of that because it's like, are you... Um